students studying abroad in Florence often miss Thanksgiving back at home, but that doesn't mean that they can't make their own Thanksgiving. I've decided to make my own Thanksgiving dinner here with some variations with ingredients found in Florence that aren't typically found at home. Because Thanksgiving is not a holiday traditionally celebrated here in Florence, there are plenty of restaurants that are willing to serve up a traditional American meal. But we are going to show you a traditional home-cooked meal here in our apartment, and we have some friends over if you want to come have a look. The key things to plan for a Thanksgiving get-together are what food you'll make, where to buy it, and who you'll invite. Some of our friends bought dishes, and we also made some of our own food, making slight changes to the typical food on the table found at a Thanksgiving dinner in the U.S. For example, we don't have a carved turkey, we have slices of turkey that we marinated. Turkeys are expensive and also only found in the Macelleria or the butcheries in Florence. So you do have the option of grabbing one. You will have to improvise with some foods. The Mercado Centrale and most chain supermarkets can offer mixes of spices and common foods like potatoes, spinach, or bread for stuffing. It is hard, however, to find ingredients for typical meals such as green bean casserole or gravy mixes. We are also making chestnuts, an in-season typical Florentine food, to give our Thanksgiving a bit of an Italian twist. You might want to put on your own dinner, maybe invite professors, host families, and visiting friends. I'm thankful for many things, um, especially this wonderful meal that Colleen has prepared for us, and for the love I'm lucky enough to feel each and every day and for all the good in the world that's still out there, because it's there. We have to, I think a lot of people forget about that, but I'm thankful for it and it exists and you guys are all wonderful and I'm glad we could all come together today and I'm thankful, I'm very thankful. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I'm thankful to be here in Italy and for all the amazing new people I've met, um, for seeing old friends, meeting people that I live with that I love. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. We knew each other before coming here, but we didn't really know each other until we came here. And I'm glad to learn about making new relationships, even with people you already know. And uh, I'm very thankful for uh, coming to Italy and appreciating everything that's here, as well as appreciating everything that's back home. Um, I'm thankful to be here in Italy, to be here at this lovely dinner made by Colleen, my wonderful roommate who because I have two roommates, um, <laughs> but I <laughs> sleep in both beds. <laughs> um, I, she's always, always been there for me um, through the whole semester. I can always count on her to invite me to do something or include me and just talk to me about how my day's going. So thanks to her, and she introduced me to all of you guys, literally all of you guys. So <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just very thankful. Remember, at the end of the day, the people you've chosen to spend this day with and remembering what you're thankful for are the most important parts of this holiday.